Hey guys, this is Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours where all of the magic happens. Are you feeling a little peckish today? Well, I am. I'm actually starving. So how about we do this? We get this recipe started. Stick around to find out what it is. Hola foodies, this is your girl Mala coming to you from Mala's Kitchen to yours. And guess what? Today we're getting ready to make a cranberry cake. Mm -mm, yum, yum, yum. So let's go over some of the ingredients that we have here laid out. I have over here this large pan. It's a Pyrex baking dish and I've generously buttered it, of course. And it's a 9 by 13 pan. Over here, I have 12 ounces of fresh cranberries, three large eggs. I've got a stick and a half of butter, which will be equivalent to two thirds, I would say three quarters of a cup of butter. We will be using one teaspoon of Madagascar vanilla extract. That's pure Madagascar vanilla extract. We'll be using a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt one tablespoon of double acting baking powder, a three quarters of a cup of chopped walnuts, and of course we'll be having in this bowl here, I've already started, two cups of all purpose flour in which I'm going to sift. And this large bowl over here, this one, I've already added a cup and a half of vanilla sugar. Now, my vanilla sugar is basically, it's a simple white granulated sugar. And what I did from weeks ago when I made a cheesecake, I added the uh, pod of a, a vanilla bean pod actually that I scraped out all of the beans out of. And I stuck that inside of my uh, sugar bowl and I kept it in there and I shook it up every day. So that pretty much flavored my sugar. So here is my vanilla bean sugar that I have. So this is a cup and a half that we're going to be using. Once again, this is two thirds of a cup of chopped walnuts, two cups of all purpose flour, one tablespoon of double acting baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt, one teaspoon of pure Madagascar vanilla bean extract, three quarters of a cup of butter, or rather a stick and a half, and of course it's unsalted butter, three large eggs, and 12 ounces of cranberries, it was just fresh cranberries, but I'll be using pretty much just about 10 ounces, so you can pretty much just take out about a handful out of this for garnishing. So let's get started. What I'm gonna start with is starting to sift my dry ingredients. So I'm going to start by putting together our dry ingredients. In here I already have our two cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to add the double acting baking powder now to this. Then I'm going to add our kosher salt. There we go. And we are going to sift this through because we don't want any lumps or bumps, right? So we're just going to push this through just like so. So we can have a beautiful smooth batter when we're through and look how quick that was gorgeous absolutely beautiful and there we go we're just going to push through just really quickly that kosher salt make it nice and fine there we go so we got rid of that and our flour is looking beautiful how gorgeous is that right so now we're just going to set this aside and go to our next step. So I've gone ahead and cracked our three large eggs. We have them right in here into this measuring cup. Now I'm going to add our teaspoon of pure vanilla bean Madagascar vanilla extract. So we're just going to add this. There we go. Add that straight in. I'm gonna put that away. And now we're going to get we're going to go ahead now and we're going to add these eggs to our sugar. We already have our vanilla sugar here. So now we're going to add the eggs along with the vanilla bean extract directly into the bowl. Just like this. 
and we're going to go ahead and whip them until they're nice and light using a beautiful I apologize for the noise, but we're going to go ahead and continue mixing this until I get a gorgeous, beautiful ribbon. And then we're going to slowly add in our dry ingredients. So our, but our eggs are actually nicely whipped up. Oh, we have beautiful ribbons like this, and this is pretty much what you want. You want to make sure that you do not skip this step because this is pretty much how we're going to make our cake rise. And of course, as a fail safe, that's why I added that double acting baking powder. So now we're going to add or butter directly to this. In we go, I'm gonna get some grease off of my hands. So our butter is in and we are going to get this started. Incorporate really, really well for about a minute or two until everything is nicely mixed. So our butter is nicely incorporated. Take a look at this. This took about a minute or two. Now we're going to add to this or dry ingredients. And we're going to slowly add just a little bit at a time. There we go. And we're going to start adding on the slowest setting. Let's get this on one and start. To nicely incorporated here or flour is all in and it looks like this this is going to be a pretty thick batter and at the end of this it's going to look pretty much like a cookie dough so have no fear that's precisely what we want so at this point what I'm going to do by hand I'm going to fold in our chopped walnuts there we go I'm going to just gently mix that in like that and the next step is we're going to add more cranberries so we've got our nuts all nicely mixed in now time for that beautiful cranberry so we've got our bag here I'm just going to use about three quarters of these so pretty much instead of 12 ounces we're going to use around about 10 ounces and we simply fold in now if you don't have fresh cranberries on hand you can certainly use frozen however your batter just may become a little bit cold and difficult to handle so what I would suggest for you to do is if you have them frozen take them out to thaw and come to room temperature first. So we have ours here nicely incorporated. And no, I know some of you are probably thinking cranberries. Oh my gosh, that's going to be too tart. But you'd be surprised. These fresh cranberries in this beautiful cake becomes so succulent, so juicy, and so sweet. They're absolutely divine. Now, if cranberries aren't your thing, you can certainly opt for blueberries. That's a good option. You can even mix that and simply go for some chopped apricots. You can use some raisins. You can do some pitted prunes. You know, whatever floats your boat. 
So now we have this mixed in and we're going to put this into our buttered fish. So I'm gonna slide it over here. And here we go. It's gonna be a bit hard to get that out, but you wanna make sure you get all the goodness out. There we go. And then you're going to press it into the pan and lay them out. So let me continue with this. So we have all of our batter out. Now I'm going to simply distribute this evenly into the pan. And you pretty much want to press this out because it looks sort of like a cookie dough at the moment. But that's all right. That is precisely what we're going for. So you pretty much just want to smooth this out. And as this cooks and it bakes, actually, what happens, the cranberries naturally burst. And that is a beautiful thing because flavor is imparted all throughout this beautiful cake. And now we're going to get ready for the oven. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees and we're going to bake this for around about 45 minutes to 50 minutes depending on your oven. I'm going to be using a convection oven and of course this is a pirate's dish so I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be baking for about around about 45 minutes or so. So anywhere between 45 to 50 minutes. And you wanna make sure that you, when you test either with a toothpick or a very thin knife that when you insert into the center, it comes out pretty much clean. So let's just get this little darling cake into the oven. And our cake is in the oven and we're going to set her away right there for about 45 minutes. And as you can see, I'm at 350 degrees. We're gonna check this back around about 45 minutes or so. So it's been 45 minutes later and I've taken our gorgeous baby here out of the oven. Let's see, moment of truth. Yep, there you go. My knife is clean. Let's just do it one more spot. Thank you so much for watching again and please you can find me on instagram facebook youtube give me a like a follow a share and hey don't forget to subscribe thank you